In August 2017, the Pentagon notified the US Congress of the sale to Nigeria of 12 Super Tucano A29 warplanes and weapons, worth $593 million. This anti Boko Haram package included the planes, bombs, rockets, spare parts, and training for pilots and engineers. The price of over $41 million per each aircraft has put President Buhari on the hot seat. The National Assembly and the opposition PDP are strongly criticizing President Buhari for approving the $496 million purchase of the warplanes. The approval for the payment was made without appropriation by the National Assembly. Argue those criticizing the President. The 2020 delivery of the planes has also prompted many to express dissatisfaction. The delayed delivery can be explained by the fact that the planes have to be manufactured in accordance with specifications. On April 30, the US President Donald Trump hosted President Buhari at the White House. The two presidents discussed economic growth and counterterrorism strategies. Trump said the US is deeply concerned by the religious violence in Nigeria. He also said the selling of 12 warplanes to Nigeria was the first ever transaction of this type between the US and Nigeria. This new aircraft will help Nigeria to target terrorists and protect civilians, Trump said. The Tucano aircraft is a maneuverable aircraft that can stay afloat for longer periods of time to target Boko Haram formations. President Buhari has vowed to wipe out insurgency in Nigeria. Indeed, the group's territorial control has diminished significantly during Buhari's administration. But the insurgents still appear to be moving freely throughout the countryside. The recent kidnapping of over 100 Dakchi girls signifies that the group is still capable of carrying out large-scale assaults. What do you think of the $496 million warplanes? Is it part of an effective counter-terrorism investment or useless expenditure? Subscribe to Nile.com's YouTube channel for more video updates like this one.